keep in mind I do have one of the newer 13th generation Intel CPUs. I did not want to use the cooler that the i5 comes with because the 13th generation CPUs and even the, the, the new AMD CPUs, they run very, very, very warm. DDR5 RAM, specifically the 3060 that I ended up getting is the Gigabyte model. I do have an MSI motherboard, got the power supply and then fans. So this right here is 1440p on the highest setting inside of Unigen. I am absolutely blown away that a 3060 is capable of this. I do want you to see that this is a 3090, so it's not like I'm using this computer on this one. We're gonna go up to eight, and I have tried this. It gets about 50 frames per second. When we go to the maximum, you can see it's about 50 frames per second, but not many people are gonna have anti-aliasing cranked all the way up. End up dropping down to like 20 if I leave it here for through the like entire thing so the minimum fps is going to be like 20 uh, but always obviously not going to show you guys 26 different scenes okay let's actually do this right now i didn't realize i could do this so let's go to four and we will uh see what ends up happening uh unfortunately this case wouldn't let me put hands down here there's literally nowhere for me to screw it down in there so that is a little bit of a downside that I see with this little case here as well as I'm fully aware that the AIO is supposed to be on the top like this one but it is a mini build and it wouldn't fit without touching the like RAM and the, the motherboard so I did have to put it on the side and the 4070 Ti that build is going to be coming out very soon but we're going to come over here as you can see as I was explaining that it drops down so this is the higher setting but as you can see it did drop down so you know what i mean just keep that in mind if you do end up uh getting this that uh, your frame rate is high which is great you can't expect this to be like a 4k gaming machine you could the reason that most people get monitors is because of the the um the delay so like now in, in 2023, we have 4K TVs that are 120 frames per second. And you will never, uh, you're gonna see 4K high frame rate, but it's, there. I don't think that they're worth it. Let's just put it that way. That I had Windows 11 on and I couldn't find one that had the program. So I had to install Windows 10 and then I updated it to Windows 11 for the guy that's gonna be buying this, so. Yeah, I think that this thing is 100% worth it, and I'm very excited to do this. I'm super excited to do this build.